Hi everybody! Today I'm going to teach you how to make this super easy denim type fabric. We did do a denim type fabric with our camo tutorial. This is actual denim type material though instead of just the denim texture you're actually going to get the color for denim in this particular tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to File, New and you can use any size project you want. I use 512 pixels by 512 pixels. Then you're going to pick a blue color, light, dark, it's really up to you. I'll go with this one for today. And we are going to bucket fill this. And we're going to bucket fill it with a foreground, just like that. And then you're going to go up to filter, and you are going to go up to um, sketch, and go to halftone pattern. And you're going to pick a pattern, just like this. Your size is going to be 1, your contrast is going to be 4, and your pattern type is going to be dot. This I have not found a lot of playing doesn't give you the same results. So you can experiment but you probably won't get the same results from experimenting on this particular piece. So hit OK and we're off and running. We're going to go to filter and we're going to go to noise and we're going to add noise to this. And we're going to add a gaussian and click monochromatic. You can actually select a non-monochromatic if you want a jean texture with a little bit of color in it. That works great too. And your amount is about 10%. And hit OK. And then we're going to go up here to filter and to blur. And we're going to go to motion blur. 45 degree angle at about 3 pixels. Works perfect for this. And you can see our denim is already starting to take shape. We are going to create our pattern now. And so you're going to need a new project, File, New. And you need 4 pixels by 4 pixels. And I'm going to zoom way in so you guys can see this. And I'm also going to put a black background on this so you can see it. You can skip this step. Add a layer. Get out a white brush and select your pencil tool. And you are going to select the diagonal line from the upper right hand corner to the lower left and get rid of your patterns or your background rather and edit to find pattern and this is going to be our denim pattern and hit OK and then get rid of this project we don't need it anymore we're going to add a layer to this and we are going to bucket fill with our pattern so you're going to change this from foreground to pattern and select the pattern we just made and drop that on there just like that and we're almost done. You just change this from normal to overlay and there you have it. You can back this down a little bit if you don't want such a strong line in it. Now, the one thing I do want to talk about, if you are making clothing for an online game, you are going to want to back down the size of this texture and keep in mind the size of the person that you're working on. A common mistake inside world is huge denim patterns and they just don't look realistic. So use this one but scale it way down when you put it on your final project and it'll look very realistic. I hope you have some great luck in designing. As always, if you need me, go ahead and email me or feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help you um, and thank you for watching. 